Lois, are you going to stay at your apartment tonight? No, I didn't want to. Every hotel room in town is booked because of the president. Perry offered, but Alice has the flu, so I don't want to impose. Well, you know, you, you could... Oh, no. I... I just think, you know, with us dating or... almost dating, that, um, I would feel uncomfortable. Night, guys. Hey, Jimmy, you have a pull-out couch, don't oh, you? Oh, Clark. Yeah, why? Well, it's just that Lois needs a place to stay for a few nights until this whole prankster thing is resolved. Oh, um, well, I mean, are you sure you want to stay there? I mean, it's just a hole-in-the-wall bachelor pad, you know? You know, Jimmy, if it makes you uncomfortable... No, 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 no. I mean, as long as you don't mind roughing it, it's okay with me. That's what friends are for. Thanks. I promise you won't even know I'm there. Uh, you know what? Maybe I better get home, straighten things up a little bit before you get there, all right? Hold the elevator! That was sweet of him. What the heck? Hello, Slane. Hi, Lo. Great to talk to you again. Listen, I know you've been wondering where I am, and I uh, didn't want you to be kept in the dark. <laughs> You're controlling the lights of the Daily Planet. Oh, well, I, I'd say I'm uh, pretty much controlling the whole darn city. Take a look. What do you want now, Griffin? Well, since you're my favorite reporter, I thought I'd give you a scoop on an electrifying story. <laughs> I've accessed the computers for Metropolis Light and Power, and later on when I shut down the airport, it should be a real party. Talk about flying blind. Ta-ta. Where are you going? To the airport, in case the prankster makes good on his threat. Okay, I'll follow up on Metropolis Light and Power. You've reached Metropolis Light and Power. Due to the high volume of calls, your wait time may be anywhere from 5 to 15 minutes. Thank you for your patience. Oh, this is ridiculous. 